Hey Bears, I'm Chris Thomas and this is your CTV Bear Breakdown. This week, a few hundred Christmas students joined thousands of others from around the country and walked out of school on Wednesday. National Walkout Day, as it was known around the country, marked one month since the shooting in Parkland, Florida, that left 17 students dead. In some places, students who walked out protested gun violence and called for stronger gun control. Here, student council organized an event that tried to keep politics out of it. Students read the names of the 17 victims killed in Florida, and Stuco President Faith Kolb issued a kindness challenge and encouraged students to take the time to meet 17 new people. In the wake of the walkout, Christmas students expressed mixed feelings about the effort. I believe there could have been more talk about the problems of gun violence in the high schools and the mental state of the students that have the guns instead of just honoring the people who were lost. I mean, it was a great tragedy, but there could have been more talk about how the gun violence could have been prevented. The memorial that we did for the people wasn't just about the memorial. We had the seven seconds of silence for the kids that were lost, but I think it was about so much more than that, and it couldn't just be a, a memorial for the people that were lost. It was about gun violence and a whole bunch of other things that could have been dealt with separately. Um, and I feel like a lot of people just went to the, sh to the memorial just to get out of class. Um, I don't think that if we would have done it on a Saturday, as many people would have showed up, and that's disappointing. Their life lost was the catalyst that caused the walkout. And the walkout, I feel like, was for um, to bring attention to school safety, um, to gun violence and mental illness in America. And so I think that they did the perfect amount of time of, of letting us reflect on those lives and then letting us reflect on people around us. Um, and if they're going through something, you know, sometimes just giving them your smile could change somebody's world, so they did, they did a really good job, I feel like. I think that instead of giving us a few minutes to go outside, we should have, the school should have decided whenever they were doing all the protests, we should have had a day off so we could go protest with them. The event lasted for 17 minutes, or one minute for each of the victims in Florida. More than 3,000 of the walkouts were planned across the country. Next week brings parent-teacher conferences, Monday they run from 4 to 8, and Tuesday they run from 3.30 to 7. Half of each day is pre-scheduled conferences with specific students and his or her parents. The other half is open to any and all parents and students. On Tuesday, a job fair will take place here at Christman at the same time as parent-teacher conferences. It runs from 3.30 to 5.30, and it will take place in the large gym. Students can find anything from full-time work to even summer employment or internships. The ISD robotics team will try again this weekend to qualify for Worlds. They compete against 42 other schools at the FRC Greater KC Regional. Practice rounds at MCC Business and Technology Center took place Thursday. Qualification rounds take place Friday, and final rounds will come Saturday. Last weekend, the first bots of Independence placed fourth out of 43 teams at the Heartland Regional. It's the team's best finish ever, but a loss in the semifinal kept them from qualifying for Worlds. Roughly three dozen Bears will compete at state music contests after bringing home high marks from districts. Members of choir, band, and orchestra all competed in district music competition last week. State will take place in late April. Here's a look at all the Bears who will participate in that, as well as some winners from other recent competitions. Christmas Student Council honored at the state level, the Missouri Association of Student Councils named our STUCO an honor council. 
Current President Faith Kolb and future President Cameron Holloman accepted the plaque last week at the MASC State Convention. The Honor Council Award is the highest honor the State Association hands out to its member schools. So to earn the um, MASC Honor Council is a really big deal. It's the first time Christman High School has ever earned that. So um, it means that we've been working really, really hard and um, it should be something that we as a student council, but as a school, should be really proud of. It's, it's kind of like winning state for a sport. Last week, Christman sophomore Tanner Jolly also accepted a big honor. The Mid-America Chapter of Leukemia and Lymphoma Society chose Jolly as its Student of the Year. Over the course of seven weeks, he raised more than $28,000 through a series of events, including a 5K and weekly raffles here at Christman, among other things. It took a lot of organizing. Uh, the 5K, we had to set up 322 barricades. Um, we needed a lot of volunteers for that, and we got them. Uh, we had a lot of people help in many ways. Um, it was uh, very difficult and took a lot of organization, but me and my mom and my uh, family, we all figured it out and got it done. Jolly participated in honor of his younger brother, Trevor, who went through more than three and a half years of treatment for a form of leukemia. For winning, Jolly will receive a $2,500 scholarship. His victory will also result in Christman's Science Department receiving a $2,500 grant. And that's it for this week's Bear Breakdown. I'm Chris Toms, and we'll leave you with a look at some important dates and events coming up. We'll see you next time, Bears.